Good morning and welcome to our Friday morning Time and Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will. It's great having you with us here today. I'd like to begin our time together this morning reading to you from the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 15, verses 17 to 24. Hear the word of the Lord. When he, that is the prodigal son, came to his senses, he said, How many my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am, starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick! Bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fatted calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For the son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of being able to come together here today, gather together in the presence of your holy word. We pray, Lord, that you may teach us, instruct us by and through the power of your Holy Spirit. For we pray this in your name. Amen. This week, we are considering the lessons that Jesus' parable of the prodigal son has to teach us. On Wednesday, if you remember, we looked at the prodigal son himself and the lesson that he has to pass on to us. The lesson that the grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence. And the lesson that our Heavenly Father always stands ready to forgive us when we have gone astray. This morning, I want to shift our attention to the prodigal son's father, who of course symbolizes our heavenly father. So let's see what lessons this prodigal son's father has to teach us, and perhaps come to an even greater understanding of our heavenly father. So what lessons does the prodigal son's father have to teach us? Well, the first lesson as we saw on Wednesday, is that our Heavenly Father always stands ready to forgive. When the youngest son had initially asked his father to give him his share of the inheritance, he showed great disrespect toward his father. In doing so, he chose the world ahead of his father and in doing so, rejected his father. You know, all sins, my friends, are ultimately sins against God. And just as the prodigal son sinned against his earthly father, we have all sinned against our heavenly father. Yet, this son's father of this parable was willing to forgive his son. And our heavenly father in the same way, is ready to forgive us of our sins. My friends, whatever sins we have committed against our Heavenly Father, He's ready to forgive us of those sins. There is no sins that He won't forgive. So let us take those sins that we have committed and let us place them at the foot of the cross the very place where Jesus cried out, Father, forgive them, 
for they know not what they do. And in doing so, you will know the freedom that comes from his forgiveness. And the second lesson our heavenly is found in this parable. The second lesson is that our Heavenly Father is always willing to take the initiative to demonstrate His love for us. Please note the words of verse 20 of this parable. But while He was still a long way off, His Father saw Him and was filled with compassion for Him. He ran to His Son, threw His arms around Him, and kissed Him. This father's joy and love for his son prompted him to run, to actually run to his son. In the same way, God took the initiative to reach out to us. As we read in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died. For us. Know this, my friends. God loves you. And he is calling out to you in that great love demonstrated upon the cross. He is ready to receive you. May we all reach out to him. Reach out to our Heavenly Father who came running to us in the person of his son, upon the cross. What love and what forgiveness. Let us be quick to receive that forgiveness and that love that the Father has for us. Well, that's about it from here this Friday morning. I hope to see you back here next Monday as we continue our reflection on the parable of the prodigal son as we shift our attention once again to the older brother. I hope to see you in church this Sunday. I hope you have a great weekend. Till next time on Time in a Word, blessings. I'll catch you later. <laughs>